right. Shalom, y'all, Shirella. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video to the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, the great millstone who still guard us to the highways and byways and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Heru well. And Shalom, Labacharya, Wabarakim, Shayar Shirala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashon Kodash, you know, the Hebrew tongue. And um, pretty much this lesson is going to be centered around through the spirit of uh, the wisdom of this Bible is pretty much better than uh, 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 anything that's carnal, so to speak. That's not going to be the title, but it's going to be centered around that uh, that fact. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm going to start off with the book of Isaiah, the 54th chapter, and uh, the 17th verse. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Exactly. And what weapon is it talking about, man? Ultimately, man, you know, it's uh, Esau's witchcraft, you know, for an example. You know, Esau's witchcraft with his uh, false doctrines, you know what I'm saying, his uh, his carnal weapons, you know, uh, the programming of the television, you know, the, inf the, uh, the witchcraft through the uh, social media. You know, it's not going to prosper against us, man. It's not going to uh, overthrow us, you know. No matter how much witchcraft Esau, Edom, starting with their elites, uh, 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 pump out, man. And it reads, And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Exactly, man. That's why we guard down the highways and hedges. And that's why we also make these videos, man. You know? To not only lift up the elect, but to condemn Esau, Edom, and these other heathen nations and the two-thirds of our people, man. You know? And telling them that, according to the Bible... How about Shema Shah is going to uh, judge them, man, according to all their wicked deeds, you know? And it reads, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And those that's talking about the prophets, man, the servants of the Lord are the prophets, you know? Starting off with the head of apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and the other camps that are affiliated with Great Millstone, man, you know? This is our call, and this is what we do, you know? And it reads, and their righteousness is of me. Saith the Lord Yahweh, exactly. See, you know, it's uh, it meaning it's from the Lord, man. The righteousness that we do that we go down the highways and hedges, you know, we make these videos. It's of the Lord, it's from Yahweh Shem Yahashah, sending that angel to put the Holy Spirit upon us to do what we do, man. You know, starting off with the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone to edify the elect, to build up the elect with the word, you know. So, you know, we don't have to get carnal. We don't need riches. We don't need weapons. We have this. We have the, we have the Holy Spirit. We have the word, man. You know, as a matter of fact, let me get that right quick. Let me get that right quick. This is the book of St. John 6 and 63. And it reads, this is Lord Yahweh shall speak with the world, even when he calls Jesus Christ. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The word quickeneth means to make alive, right? Or to give life. The flesh profiteth nothing. Meaning what you think, right? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And yeah, and back in those times, over 2,000 years ago, Lord Yahweh Shah was actually on the scene, you know, uh, 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 bringing out uh, uh, the spirit, man, the truth. You know, but now we got the words of the Lord, which is this Bible, man. You know, they are spirit and they are life, man. Once Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah sends that, that, that angel to give you the understanding of the Bible, you know. Um, so now we're going to go to the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, 10th chapter. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter uh, 10. Let's see, I'm going to start at verse 3. This is 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. So although we are in these bodies, you know, we don't conform uh, uh, we don't go after what the flesh, what, what pleases the flesh, man. You know, that's what it's talking about. And I got a quick commentary on that. And uh, it says, uh, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Khan, Khan. Yeah, Salakia. Yeah, uh, and they got a quick commentary on that. It says, uh, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3, uh, though we walk, or it says, live in the flesh, meaning in the body, we do not war after the flesh, meaning according to the flesh. And it says after that, human standards. So the way how these people conduct their self conduct themselves in this world man which is wicked because it's ran by the wicked which is esau edom you know we don't conform to it meaning agree with it you know although we are in this flesh which is uh which come of sin you know okay second corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 now this is the this is the point for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal yeah carnal meaning of the flesh man you know the weapons of our warfare are not carnal man you know and it says, uh, but mighty through Yahweh Shemuel shot to the pulling down of strongholds. What's that? What's those strongholds? Those false doctrines, man. That's what it's talking about. You know? That's why we don't put our trust in these physical weapons, man. Because that's going to come to naught. We have we have trust and fear in Yahweh Shemuel Shai. As a matter of fact, there's a little bit more in this commentary right here. And it says the first phrase of verse 5. Uh, back to verse 3 and ex and expresses the manner in which believers conduct spiritual warfare. So we live our lives according to spiritual warfare, not physical, man. We're not going to go out there and protest and bear arms and go up against Esau, Edom, and these other nations, man. No, we're going to keep it spiritual. We're going to keep it according to the word, man. You know? So, uh, yeah, we're pulling down, meaning destroying, man. You know? Matter of fact, let's go to verse 5. Since it mentioned verse 5, cast it down imaginations, which imaginations mean the arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of the Most High. Exactly. We mean these false doctrines, these lies out here, man. Saying that the mark of the beast is not the RFID microchip, man. We're going up against that, man, because it's not true. You know? That's just one example. And it reads, and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience. Of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Exactly, man. You know, of this truth. You know what I mean? So, uh, Khan. So now we're going to go from there to the book of, uh, time. Okay, Khan. To the book of, uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 18. And it reads Wisdom is better than weapons of war. Yeah, carnal weapons, man, like your guns. Your, your, your knives, you know what I'm saying? Your, um, your, anything that's carnal, man. Anything that's a, a, a weapon, you know? The wisdom of this Bible, because it's not talking about the wisdom of this world. It's talking about the wisdom and knowledge and the standard of this Bible, which has to be given to you by your by Shemiah Shai, you know, is better than weapons of war, man. Because that's going to come to naught, man. You know? Because Isaiah 33 and 6 says, The wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Everybody else is losing their minds, man. But we're stable because we got the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible. And it reads, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 18 once again. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. But one sinner destroyeth much good. Exactly, man. Because they being carnal, man. You know? Like these false Israelite camps out here, man, up here uh, waving guns and stuff in videos, man. You know, you're destroying much good, man. And what's the good? The works that we do, man, which is uh, 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 we speak according to the words on our, out there in the highways and hedges in the name of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. But what these carnal dudes want to do, man, they want to go bear arms, man. You know, they want to teach false doctrines, you know, and the Lord is going to judge them for that, you know, because they don't they're not. Uh, 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 sticking according to the word, man. You know? So, hey, with that, uh, matter of fact, man, let me see, I might got one more. It's lucky. Give me one second. Let me see. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, con, con. As a matter of fact, I think I do that one. Let me go to this one. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it through the spirit by Yahweh Shah. You know, pretty much uh, this one's pretty much gonna be uh, ultimately centered around like wisdom is better than like weapons of uh, weapons and stuff like that. You know, um, 
Also, riches too, but I'll leave that to another lesson for another time. So, hey, with that, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and sight. Uh, peace, blessings to the Yaki God that was pushing this word week in, week out, uh, to the best of their abilities. Oh, as a matter of fact, I got one more precept. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation, which is this truth, through Yahweh Shai, right? And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh Shai, which is this Bible, man. You know? That's what that's talking about. Matter of fact, I got one more. I know I said <laughs> I was going to close it out, but hey, that's the spirit. Um... This is the book of Luke. I had it earlier. Where is it? Let me see. Uh, this is the book of Luke. Let me see. Yeah, this is the book of Luke. Chapter uh, 21, verse 15. This is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. And I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which your adversaries shall not be able to resist. I mean, gang say nor resist exactly meaning refute man they're not gonna they can't prove that we're wrong because everything that we say is backed up by the word man you know so hey with that shalom